hello guys welcome back to my channel this is Azilan here and today i'm going to show you how to make a cold shoulder romper or jumpsuit for a little girl so guys if you're interested let's move down to the work table that i'll be working with and i'm going to use this pattern that i use for the halter neck to do this so guys you can check the video so guys you can check my video on how to cut and sew a halter neck top for a little girl so i'll be working with this and also i'm going to use this pattern that i use to do a short you can as well check my video on how to make an ankara short for a little girl to see how i did this so guys let's jump into today's tutorial proper I'll just place my pattern on the fabric like this as you can see i just spin it so and the half length i'm using is 14 actually the real half length is 13 plus one inch for seam allowance and i'll still add an elastic on the waist so here i will add extra two inches because i want the waist area to have volume so that when I put the elastic, it will give me exactly what I want. So I'll add extra 2 inches here. And I'll connect it from the shoulder like this to this point. A straight line. So that is it. I will cut it out. So this is it. This is the front pattern. So I'm going to use this back pattern as well. I'll cut it out on the fab fabric. So I've placed my back pattern on the fabric. So I'll cut it out. I'll still add a few inches here. And I'll connect it from here. To this point from here to here, I will just cut it out. So, as you can see, this is the front pattern while this is the back uh, pattern. So, what I will do now is because I would like to open this place, I will just fold it into two. So I'll come down by two inches here, depending on how you want it, you can also come down by three or come down by two inches. So I'll use this to just give it a, a circle kind of opening at the back. If you like, you can make it too wide, if you like, depending on how you just want it. So, but for this, I'm very okay with this. So, I'll just, I'll just mark it out. After that, I will just use my scissors and cut it out. So this is how it looks. This is exactly the shape I want it. So here, I will put elastic. By the time I put elastic and gather it, it will give me what I want. So the next thing to do is to cut out the down part. So I'm going to use this to cut out the down part so, so before cutting out the down part you check what you have for this from the upper part like here i have 21 inches on the waist so you make sure you have the same thing on this side so 21 that is 10 and a half and half 
and I would like to make this side 14 because let it be a little long. So what I'll do now is just to cut it out. Let me just do that quickly. So here I will come, I will mark out one inch here yeah, because I don't want this part to be too boggy. So I'll just use my tweezers and cut it and connect it to this point here. So this is it. I will now use this back pattern and do the same. So let me just place it on the fabric pattern. Remember the way I did the front parts here will be ten and a half as well. Here should be ten and a half. Okay. And this side. I'll make this side 16. Remember when you're cutting and in shorts, the back is always longer than the front. So here will be 16. So I'll just cut it out. Let's just do that. So guys, this is it. My fabric is not enough, so I have to manage it. If it's enough, I wouldn't have added all this back. So we just needed to manage it. So this is the back part. Fold shoulder. I'll just fold like this. And I'll use this front pattern and place it. Place it like this. You know this side is folded, so this side that is open, this ample side, I'll place it like this. So this is how you place it. So I'll leave here. I'll leave half inch. Or rather I'll leave one inch here. So that the child can move her hand easily. So this is one inch. So normal, I'm supposed to trace it out. Or well, let me just do that so that you understand what I'm trying to say. I've marked, I've marked it out like this. So what I'll do now is you can decide um, how you want it. For this, I would like to make it four inches so that before joining everything, I'll still have three inches. So this is four, I just mark out my four inches. You can also make it three or five, depending on how you want it. So all I have to do now is to connect it. So remember this is the neckline. I'll just connect it now and join here. Just cut it out. So this is how it looks. I start cutting it out. So this is the front part. And I'll just put it like this. So this is how it is. It's already looking beautiful. By the time we gather here, you know, it should be very, very beautiful. So all I have to do is to cut out like this into four places because I'll still use this same. I don't want this side to show. So I'll cut it out again to use as the lining. So I'll cut this out into four places. Sorry, three places plus this four for the both sides. So let me just do that. Cut them all out into four places. So, what I'll do now is to face 
face each other like this the front and the front side facing each other like this and i'll sew it this way and this other way after doing that i'll give it a good press so guys let me just do that quickly and i'll show you as you can see i've given it a good press so this is what i have so all i have to do now as you can see i've joined the both sides for this upper part this is the back how it is and this is the front so all i have to do now is to take one of these down parts you can see and I'll pin it and I'll bring this one as well to the front side and pin it here so this is it by the time I'll put the elastic and gather here to give me what I want. So guys, that is just it. So for this halter neck, if you watch my video on how to make um, a halter a neck for a halter neck top for a girl, you will see how I did all these parts. So the important thing for to, today's tutorial is just to show you how to make a cold shoulder. So guys, let me just do the final closing and show you how the final look of the romper or jumpsuit so this is the final look of the dress as you can see i've added everything it's complete so this is the simple way of making a cold shoulder outfit for your little girl and in making a cold shoulder and um, outfit this there is still another way of cutting this, but this for me, this is the simplest way anyone can easily use to achieve this. So guys, this is the simplest way of making a hot, um, sorry, of making a cold shoulder dress for a little girl. So for this part, check out my video on how to make a halter neck top for a little girl so that you get to see how I did this part. And also my video on how to make a cape romper or jump, jumpsuit outfit for a little girl. And you get to see how I join the down part with the upper part. So guys, that is it for today. I'll see you on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So also remember to like, share and comment. So I'll see you guys on the next one.